Project Setup Before we can begin carving the project that we designed earlier in this DVD, a number of menu prompts and machine operations must be completed. After selecting which project you want to carve, the machine will move the cutting spindle up and over to the home position. The machine will then ask if the workpiece is to stay under rollers. By selecting Yes, you are choosing to keep the workpiece under the compression rollers. This helps to avoid undesirable lines in the carving called snipe. This occurs if the workpiece moves after coming out from under the rollers. Yes means that it will maintain constant contact with both the board tracking sensor and be held in place by the two compression rollers. It is recommended that this option be used in most cases. If Yes is selected to stay under rollers, the machine will automatically assume that there is a 3 one inch extra length on either side of the project, which means the workpiece or medium that you load into the machine must be at least 7 inches longer than the length of the board you specified in the designer software, or a jig must be used to simulate the longer board. If the board that you insert does not account for this extra length, then the machine will ask you if you want to scale the project or insert another board. It is recommended that you insert the right sized board in this case, because scaling can have some unintended consequences. On our project, we will select Yes, Stay Under Rollers. This is why we need a 19-inch board to complete the 12-inch long project we laid out in the software. The machine will then measure the workpiece with its sensors. If the size of the inserted workpiece does not match the size of the project designed in the software, then the machine will prompt for additional information or action. If one or both of the width and length dimensions measure smaller than the design dimensions, you will be given one of two options. One, scale the project, meaning the project design will automatically be scaled down to fit the workpiece while maintaining the aspect ratio, or two, load new board or workpiece. If, on the other hand, both of the measured dimensions are greater than the designed dimensions, you will be given three options. One, keep original size. Two, scale the project, which scales the project up to the largest size to fit the board without changing the original aspect ratio. Or three, place on end, which places the project on the corner closest to the keypad and toward the back of the machine. If you select Keep Original Size, the machine will ask where to place the project on the workpiece. 1. Center on Board, which centers the project on the workpiece. 2. Jog to Position, which allows you to move the project to the location of your choosing using the arrow keys. Or 3. Place on End which places the project on the corner closest to the keypad and toward the back of the machine. In general, it is a good practice to put a board into the machine that is slightly larger than your original design and select Keep Original Size. Be very careful when scaling down a project at the machine. The machine will scale the entire project to the largest size that will fit the workpiece while maintaining the overall aspect ratio of height to width. It will not change the aspect ratio to fit that of the workpiece. Scaling down can also lead to undesirable thinning of the carved elements that may lead to wood chip out. If possible, measure the workpiece to carve before starting the project layout in the software. This will help guide the design and prevent unintended scaling issues if the project design is different than the available workpiece. Again, remember if you choose the Stay Under the Rollers option, you must have an additional 7 inches of length on your workpiece or you cannot complete the project at full size. Using the measure function of the machine will provide the most accurate measurement. Once all of the required data has been entered, the machine will prompt you to insert the required bit. It will first tell you which bit to load into the machine based on your project design. Pressing Enter, will move the cutting truck to a position in the middle of the machine that offers easy access to load or change the bit. 
For projects that require more than one bit, the machine will prompt for each bit at that point and will store the calibration settings.